The types of risk to the stability of the system that our reserve management tool is designed to work with are losing one or more generators in the North or South Islands, and losing some or all of the HVDC link between the islands. The South Island often generates extra power, which is used by the North Island. This effectively puts a load on the South Island. Power is transferred between the islands by a bipole high voltage direct current or HVDC transmission system. Transmission through the rest of the country is carried by an alternating current or AC transmission system. An AC contingent event or ACCE is defined as losing the largest single unit of generation. An AC extended contingent event or ACECE is defined on a station basis that can include losing an interconnected transformer or a busbar fault, which could be the loss of multiple generators. The North and South Islands have independent AC risks. When both HVDC poles are in service, a DC contingent event or DCCE is defined as losing a single HVDC pole. If this happens, more power can normally be put on the remaining HVDC pole to help compensate for the loss. The DCCE risk is calculated as the total HVDC megawatts received minus the lower overload capability of the two poles. A DC extended contingent event, or DCECE, is defined as losing the total megawatts received over the HVDC link. If a DC ECE happens, the loss of the HVDC link will sever transmission between the North and South Islands. DC ECEs are also called bipole trips. When they happen, our reserve management tool has already calculated the fur and sur needed to prevent cascade failure. The reserve calculation for an extended contingent event, or ECE, includes automatic underfrequency load shedding, or awfuls. This automated shedding of system load is an addition to the interruptible loads. Now we've gone over the concepts, let's look at a demonstration of a bipole trip, a DC ECE. As soon as the bipole trips, note how there is too much generation in the South Island and an excess amount of load in the North Island. The North Island and South Island power systems are separated and go out of balance with each other. We'll look first at what is done to restore the power system in the north. Fur, sir, and awfuls are used to balance the North Island. In the South Island, the high frequency due to the excess power produced is corrected by generation plant governor response, and also by over-frequency arming, which is automatic disconnection of some South Island generation. Both islands are now back in balance. Under a high north HVDC transfer scenario, if the bipole trips, up to 32% of the North Island load may be disconnected due to the operation of awfuls. A 4-6 to six hour process of redistributing generation and restoring the shed awfuls and interruptible loads will be required to get things back to normal. We've now looked at the types of risks dealt with by RMT, AC contingent events, AC extended contingent events, DC contingent events and DC extended contingent events, and we've seen an example of how a DC ECE is managed.